of soldiers to guard him, intending after the Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was kept in prison. And I want you to note the last portion of verse number five. The Bible says, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. Praise the name of the Lord. And welcome those who are joining us from your house or from the place of work. We thank God for you and those who are going to listen to this message later on. Listen to this scripture. The Bible says the herald arrested James and killed him. Praise the name of the Lord. And I've taught this word many times and I've shared many times that when the church was silent, James was killed. Hallelujah. When the church was silent, James was killed. Praise the name of the Lord. When the church was praying ordinary normal prayer, James was killed. And I want you to see the Bible says, and when he saw that it pleased who? The Jews. What did he do? He arrested Peter. And intended to kill him after the Passover feast. After the feast of the unleavened bread. One as well, son. So, ninataka tu uangalia hili jambo. Anataka kumuwa kama vile aliuwa mungine. Lakini, I like what the Bible says. Amempeana kwa askari grupo nne. Four squads. Four squads, that means about 16 soldiers. Praise the name of the Lord. Prison orders. Na siyo kufungwa kule kwa kawaida. Ni mutu wamefungiwa mpaka wamefungiwa kwa migu ya askari. Pande hii umefungiwa askari. Pande hii umefungiwa askari. Ili usidhubutu kutoka. But the Bible says honest prayer. Not just a prayer. But honest prayer was made for him. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to say a few things which will be important for you to note as we continue with the lesson. Buona spesana. There is a message the man of God, Apostle John Kimani, uh, ministered uh, some time back. And there is also a book, The Weight of a Matter. And I wish you would understand this thing from the same dimension. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at the situation. You know there are people who never consider situations when they are praying. There are situations which require you take a different means in your prayer. A different approach in your prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. There are things you can pray casually. There are things you can pray for in your casual manner. The, the way you are used to pray. The way you pray at home. You pray for them the same way. Rakini kuna mahali unaezafika, you don't pray the same way you prayed yesterday. You don't pray the same way you are praying the other time. Praise the name of the Lord. You have to change the dimensions of your prayer. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Because at times you find people who want to see change, but they want to live the same life. Glory be to God. Somebody say, if you want to see things different, do things different. If you want to see different results, do things in a different way. Lakini unakuta mtu ambaye anafanya mambo vile tu alikuwa anafanya. Lakini anatarajia there will be another, another mean, another result. There will be a difference in my life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible here clearly shows Peter is in prison. Hallelujah. Bound between or kept in prison. And he is kept in a way. Four squadrons of soldiers are watching over him. We cannot continue the way we have been continuing. Hawakuambiana wapendo wana namutu wakieta nyumbani amukubuke nani? Simon. E, tafadhali kila muntu mahali utakua ata ukiwa unarima ukubuke Simon. No. The Bible clearly proves that the church gathered together praying for Peter. Praise the name of the Lord. There are things that call for a difference. There are times when things are tougher than they were before and they require you to handle the same differently. So maybe I should start by saying when should prayers change? When should my prayers change? When should I pray differently? Number one, when things worsen, you should change the way you pray. When things worsen, if things are not going the same way they were going, 
Nothing is happening as it happened before. Get into prayer. And get into prayer in a different dimension. Hallelujah. Things are different. Things are worsening. Hallelujah. Number two. When you have prayed and you don't see results, pray differently. Whenever you pray, when you give yourself to prayer, but you don't see the results you are looking for, get into a different way of praying. You cannot continue the same. Am I communicating? There is no way you can continue praying the same way you have been praying and things are not changing. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wapendwa hebu niwaambie kuna watu wengi wamekwama kwa sababu ya hii. They don't know when to engage a higher gear. Amen. Wale ambao wame drive gari manual, you will understand what I talk, I'm, I'm talking about because gari manual there is a place you come to and the gear you are using cannot climb that mountain. So you go to another gear, to a stronger one. Praise the name of the Lord. It may be necessary even to go back to another one because the things are different. When you come to a terrain, for example, those who have the four wheel or what we call the off-roaders, praise the name of the Lord, and you come to a place, it is muddy, and your vehicle gets stuck, you engage the four wheel to help you overcome. Are you getting what I'm saying? So in prayer, there is a four wheel gear which you engage to help you overcome. When you have prayed and you are not seeing results, pray differently. Am I talking to somebody? You cannot continue praying the same way if the results you are looking for are not coming. Number three, when your opposition rises higher, you pray differently. When you find that your opposition has been lifted to another level, raise your prayer level. You cannot continue praying the same way and the opposition is greater. Praise the name of the Lord. If your opposition has lifted a higher standard, lift your prayers even to a higher standard. Let there be no assumptions. And I want to say this is one of the biggest problems in the church of the Lord. That there are people who are just looking at the things in a casual way. Oh, I, I will pray. Oh, you know God is good. In fact, I am thinking about prayer. You are thinking about prayer, but you are not praying. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, hey, ninaona kuna itajika maombi tafauti. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lakini wewe hauombi hiyo tafauti. Ni kusema tu unasema ya kwamba utabadilisha. Kuna kitu kinastahili kubadilishwa. So I want to say this. When your opposition rises higher, lift your level of prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Number four. Is it number four? Yes. Eh? Number four. When your battles are tougher than they used to be, make your prayers different. When your battles are greater than they seem, than they were before, greater than how they used to be, fight differently. And engage in a deeper way of prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa kwanza wacha niachie hapo. Tutapata mengine tutakapokuwa tunasonga. But as you meshika, the reasons why you should pray differently. Number one, tumesema nini? When things are worse than they were before. There is no way things are worsening, but your prayer is a, the same. You are plateauing in your prayer. You are in a plane in your prayer. There is no change. There is no difference. When things are worse, you become, you go deeper in prayer. You become a prayer warrior, fighting more than you were fighting before. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Number two. Huh? When you have prayed 
and things are not changing, you pray differently. And engage in a difference in your prayer. Number three, when opposition arises, higher. Fight different. Pray differently. Number four, when your battles are tougher than they were before. When your enemies lift the battle to a higher level, lift your prayer to a higher level. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, according to the scripture we have read here, Peter was kept in prison. Verse number 5. Acts chapter number 12. Verse 5. But earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. Praise the name of the Lord. When they realized this is different. Things are different. Our, our leader, you know, even if Jesus never said, Peter, you are the chief apostle. But uh, in the hierarchy of the church, Peter was regarded as the chief of the apostles. Praise the name of the Lord. The other guy who was known to be great was James. And now James is dead. Praise the name of the Lord. Tumeachwa na nani? Na Peter. If we pray the same way, we will lose both our leaders. Hallelujah. We will lose everybody that has been with us. And this is what the, the, the church realized. We cannot continue praying the same way. And the Bible says, earnest prayer, we are made for him. Glory be to God. Maombi. Kiswahili kinatumia neno gani? Amen. Yeah. Matendo ya mitume kuminambiri. Mustari watano unasema basi petero wakalindu wa gerezani nako kan, nalo kanisa lika muomba mungu kwa juhudi. Lika fanya nini? Lika, lika omba tu? Waliomba mungu kwa nini? Kwa juhudi, bidi. Praise the name of the Lord. This was not ordinary prayer. I would suppose this is what normally in our days we call warfare prayers. Praying against the enemy. Praying against the, the styles of the enemy. And the works of the devil. Praise the name of the Lord. The church realized there is no way we can continue praying the same prayer. And see the same results. Tuliombea James wakati tulisikia ameshikwa tukaomba. Omba tu buwana saidia mungu tafadhali ni wewe ulipeana ni wewe umechukua. Wakazika James. But they came to a point they realized we cannot pray the same kind of prayer. And expect the same, the, the, a different result. We must get into a different level of prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Whether you are talking about personal prayer, you are praying for your personal life. Whether you are praying for your family, there is a level you come to, you cannot continue praying the same way. You cannot just say, oh God, you know, ni wewe ulitupe hawa wadugu, na ni wewe sijui ata itamaya, urevi kama ni wewe uriwe kadani. No, you cannot pray that way. You must come to a different level of prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to say this. There is nothing impossible to a man of prayer. I have told you many times. Prayer is the greatest exhibition of faith. The greatest sign of belief in God is prayer. Ukitaka kujua imani yako imefika wapi. Angalia kiwango chako cha maombi. Angalia vile unaomba. Na ninasema ya kwamba hakuna jambo haliwezekani kwa mtu amba anafanya nini? Anaomba. Praise the name of the Lord. And engage in prayer. But engage in prayer different. Different situation require different approach in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Walipo fika eneo hili. Wakaona tukiomba kawaida. Dugu petero watawawa. Tutazika ya kama vile tulizika nani? Yakobo. Pataja makabuli kwa kanisa. Makabuli ya mitume. James. Haya huyo ne petero. Unafikiri yange uawa. Si angeona inapedeza auwe mwingine. Praise the name of the Lord. But honest prayer was made for him by the church. The church engaged in prayer. I want to give you several scriptures that show you different approaches to prayer. When people come to situations and they make prayer differently. Praise the name of the Lord. Now go to the book of 1 Samuel chapter number 1. 1 Samuel Chapter number one. And the Bible says, Praise the name of the Lord. 
in verse number 9 chapter 1 verse 9 after they had eaten and drunk in Shiloh Hannah rose now Eli the priest was sitting on the seat beside the uh, doorpost of the temple of the Lord she was deeply distressed Hannah amesumbuka Bwana asifiwe sana amesumbuka ameomba tu na amekuwa akiomba mtoto amekaa ukiona hana amefika the place of desperation this could not be an, a, a young lady mtu ameolewa juzi hapana and the way it looked hana was the first wife praise the name of the lord the very first wife so you can imagine the distress of hana when she sees penina has children and i have none and then the ridicule the bible talks about penina would always ridicule hana praise the name of the lord Eh hey, mama tasa na vile unalinga hapa mm, sasa urembo hiyo yako utapeleka wapi mm, na huwezi nyonyesha hauna kitu ya sasa nataka uimagine ule mama vile anasikia machungu yale ambao anasikia katika moyo only a barren woman can understand hana for us the rest of us we cannot understand hana how it feels for the neighbors to keep taunting you for the neighbors to keep telling you oh 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 unakaa oh maringo nini hata ukiwa na pesa hata upate mamilioni ya pesa na hauna mtoto ufikirie vile ma neighbor huogea they don't care that you are a millionaire they look at you as somebody who is barren and they speak about you because of your barrenness praise the name of the lord she was deeply distressed and prayed to the lord and wept bitterly hallelujah Sijui kama una, unajua saa ingine tunapotelea kwa maneno. Hebu nikusomee kwa Kiswahili. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you in the book of Samuel? 1st Samuel chapter 1. Eh? Yeah? Sasa ninaomba Mungu anikubalie hata sisi tupate kaskrini ya kuonanga hiyo maandiko. Saa ingine inasumbua kushinda tukifungua sote. Eh? Yeah? Bwana asifiwe sana. Hiyo ni verse what? Verse number 9. Maandiko yanasema deep eh, verse 10. Naye huyo mwanamke alikuwa na uchungu moyoni mwake. Akamuomba Mungu akalia sana. Praise the name of the Lord. Alikuwa na nini kwanza? Uchungu kwa moyo. Kisha akafanya nini? Akaomba. In the process of praying, what does the Bible say she did? She wept bitterly. Hallelujah. In the bitterness of soul. Glory be to God. This is the biggest problem that I, I am discussing with you. And I'm telling you, the time has come for people to change. Our approach in prayer must be different. Praise the name of the Lord. We cannot continue praying the same way we have been praying. And expect a different result. If we continue to speak to God the way we have been speaking, we will still go back home with the same results. Lift up your right hand and say, Oh God. Ay, iyo ni sauti ya mtu wasia na iman. Lift up your hand by faith and say, Oh God, help me to pray and pray differently. Amen. Not just to make prayer, but to make prayers differently. Pray with a difference. Glory be to God. Things are not the way they were before. Pray differently. There is a new opposition that I never saw before. Pray with a difference. Hallelujah. There is a new enemy that I had never seen before. Pray in a different way. Glory be to God. emotions You are being tempted sexually. And you continue praying the same way you have been praying. It can't work. You must raise your prayer to a new level. I am in a danger zone. It is not the same way as I did before. Glory be to God. Ni askari mungani ya baya atafikia na hapo ati anabiwa arishababu wako hapo bere arafu alaeda na kavesta kiseba. Ube waona pade gani? Uyo ni askari mujiga. Askari hata kabra hajabiwa. Si unawaona nga hata saa zigine. Unawaona na saa zigine, ok Kenya you know we are a peaceful country na kuna vitu vime badilika. Lakini I wish you were there when there were robberies in the banks. Uwana vile askari walikuwa wanaisha. Kidore ikiwa hapo. Na buduki, ukiona kidora imeka hapo ni kusema, buduki iko ready to shoot. Si ati kwamba ataitayarisha, it is ready to shoot. Because 
because it is dangerous you are in a dangerous place you cannot remain the same way you are you had remained before but you know god you know me you know me you know me hiyo maombi unaomba hakuna mahali itafika bwana asifiwe usipobadilisha maombi yako vile unayaomba hauwezi ona ta, mambo tofauti utaona vile vitu ulikuwa unaona hana akafika mahali akasema sasa mzee wewe pumzika let me go talk to god directly according to our tradition it is men who pray for us but as from now nobody gonna pray for me i will pray for myself hey hallelujah Lift up your right hand again and say oh god teach me how to pray and pray differently am i communicating teach me how to pray and pray different not just the same way nifike eneo ambalo i am not dependent on my brothers i am not dependent on my sisters i am depending on myself i will pray for myself praise the name of the lord Unajua kuna watu hata wanakaa hivyo wanajiabia watakula na kunywa juu. Pasta wetu hata ukiona hana nepi ni ni kutuobea, mm. ni kutufugia. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana. <laughs> Wewe shukuru Mungu labda uko na pasta na kuobea. Kuna wengine wanakula dhuruwa utu. Amen. <laughs> Kama mwingine alikuwa na neema nyingi na Mungu alikuwa anamtumia but if you what, no matter what you give him he had an appetite for it so siku moja amewekewa chai hapo na tatu chakula hivyo katoto kamekaa kanamwangalia kanamwangalia na ma, mama ya, mama ya katoto akamwambia huyu acha niite mama mama jona kusalimie mama akatoka katoto kakaabia pasta na ndoga akileta wada huhu uwe you know wada huhu graton Do not eat like a like a graton. Pastor akashidu akauliza katoto wewe unasema namna gani mtoto? Kaka sema nilisikia mama wakisema wewe unakula kama wada huhu. Hakuna kitu unawacha. Hey, pasta hata hakukula kwanza kagojea mama mama akoja eh, eh, ebuni amezikula kuzikula. Amen. You are somewhere for a meeting and then another guy says Uh, na tuko wakati wa maombi akasema kama jana mimi nimerarua sasa na tuko kwa maombi tumefunga anaongoza watu ambao wamefunga na yeye ame amekula jana so wenye unajiabia ati kwamba pasta wako anakuobea hata pasta ako na mamizigo yake kuna siku unalara ukifikiri pasta amekuobea na hiyo ndio siku amekamatwa haombi kitu Look at a neighbor whatever distance he is or she is mwambie pray differently. Mwambie mtu you have a responsibility to pray differently. Mm. you have a responsibility to do what? Pray differently. Hana decided it is at my time now to rise up and go and pray for myself. My husband has prayed for me for a long time, but the time has come for me to go and do what? and pray for myself praise the name of the lord it is true maybe the priests have been praying for us even ameketi kwa murango huenda ikawa ni maombi tu anatuombea but hana said for now i don't care whether there is anybody praying for me i will pray and pray differently did she different results yes she found it from there she conceived and gave birth to someone the prophet the priest of the lord kama utazaa kitu tofauti utabidi uombe tofauti Bwana asifiwe sana eh, Mungu atabidi tu atusaidie tuelewe haya maneno zaidi Now another scripture ambao ningetaka tuone eh? Genesis chapter number Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. This is 25 verse number verse number Let's start at verse 19 for the sake of the background. These are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son, 
Abraham fathered Isaac. And Isaac was 40 years when he took Rebekah to be his wife. The daughter of Bithuel, the Aramean of Padan Aram. The sister of Laban, the Aramean. Yani tunapewa historia yake, kule ya meowa, baba ya, ya musichana, mama yake, dugu yake. Yani tumepewa ki historia. Lakini, tukisoma mandiko inasema na mnagani. And Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife because she was barren. Praise the name of the Lord. Isaac did what? Pray for his wife because she was barren. Now, do you want to say Isaac was not prayerful before? Kulingana na mandiko vida utasoma, umujua isaka, uone baba yake Abraham. He was a prayerful man. Or even if he was not praying, he decided, hey, we cannot continue this way. I cannot continue to live with a barren wife. I will not go the same way of my father. Whereby he took another woman to give birth to Ishmael. Hallelujah. As for me, I will not give birth to what God does not desire. I must give birth to what is right. Praise the name of the Lord. And Isaac prayed for his wife. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody say, I will pray for my situation. You know, I'm not hearing any, vo any, any voice of faith. I'm hearing people who kind of, eh? You are, where are you, Ross? Umepoterea wapi? Ebu sema, nitaombea harizangu. Say it again, I will pray for my situations. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says he prayed for his wife. And his wife conceived. Praise the name of the Lord. Na bibire nasema, alipo enderea, nafikiri hii ni katika miezi mitano na huko. Akaanza kusikia, ai, kuna fujo kuko. Kuku, dani, kuna fujo. Akaenda maombi na ye. Mungu akamwambia kuna mataifa mangapi. After prayer, the woman conceived twins. May God help you to understand. You have the potential to make things different when you pray with a difference. Ah, buwana sifiwe. Iyo kazi ya mbao haizai chochote. Inaweza za ukiichukulia maombi tafauti. Buwana you know, even in the church, if we want to see a difference in the church, we must pray differently. Hatuwezi tegemea ile maombi tu ya Sunday, watu wanakuja, saa sita, saa sita imebakisha dakika kumi, mtu anainama, ana, anamumunya ile peremende yake. Ameangalia muhubili, na Bible amefugua, na notebook imefuguka, ehe, edelea, point number two. Paka unasikia kiabia jirani ya, ya kwanza ilikuwa gani? Na shukuru mungu kwa corona maana hakuna naiba karibu sasa. Mana wekini ni subua. Hui wanataka kuadika peji hii, lakini ye anataka urudi peji hiyo igine hili akope haraka. Sasa hata anasikiza gani. Anakope hile iliopita na anataka kusikiza hili nakuja. Is it possible? But I'm saying these kind of attitudes, these kind of behaviors in the church cannot bring a difference. Praise the name of the Lord. The church where a difference will be found is a church that gives itself to difference in prayer. Kuomba tafauti. Bwana Yesu atukuzo. Wewe unaomba na mna gani? Katika shuguli zako, katika mambo yale ya napaswa kuombewa, unayaobea na mna gani? Mutu huyu haka muombea muke wake. Na hata kulipoleta shida, mama hakuomba, hakusema, eh, muzee, eda uobe. Mama alisema, wacha niombe, nijue kwa nini kuna vurugu katika tuburangu. Let me know why there is commotion. Praise the name of the Lord. I will not just be looking at things and hoping that things will be right. No, I will give myself to a deeper way of prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray that in your life there will rise a desire to pray and pray with a difference in Jesus' name. I pray that your heart will desire and aspire to pray and make prayer with a difference. Then we will see different results. Lakini siyo kanisa ya watu ambao wametulia tu, ma wanatamani mambo tu itabadilika, mungu ni muingi warehema, na nimewambia kuna tunyimbo ata kama tuko na tunaufunua. Mi naona sika wimbo ya kuimba kila siku. Umejawa na rehema, na neema tele, buwana. Sasa wegine hawafanyi kitu kwa zao mungu wamejawa na nini? Na rehema na neema. 
kwa sababu Mungu ni mwingi wa fadhili wengine hawana shughuli na kuomba tofauti kwa sababu Mungu ni mwema wewe ni mwema eh? haufananishwi sasa kwa sababu ni mwema wewe hauombi praise the name of the lord Look at your neighbor na unaweza haribu sura kidogo umwambie usipoomba tofauti mambo itakaa vile tu iko. Hata kama uko na mask hazi ona umeharibu sura lakini haribu kabisa. Mwambie wacha ni kuambia ukweli. Eh? Usipobadilisha maombi mambo itakaa hivyo tu naiona. Unless you change your prayer things will continue to be the same. Until the day you say I must pray differently. I must rise up praise the name of the Lord. Uache kupenda usigizi. Siku moja upange ya kwamba. Na by the way, tumekaa bila mikesha kwa sababu ya corona. But the time has come for the church to go back to kesha. Na kesha ile unaweza fanya. Unaweza fanya kesha kwako peke yako. Utoke. Na wapendwa afadhali siku ya kwanza ungangane, ya pili ungangane, ya tatu utashika moto. Ya tatu utakuwa una, unasikia maombi na fro. Praise the name of the Lord. Na hakuna mtu ambaye haremewi na maombi usidaganywe na mtu hata wale wameomba miaka kuna mahali mtu ufika unajaribu kuomba unasikia haitoki ni kama Mungu hataki niombe leo ni kama usigizi ni muzito jina la Bwana libarikiwe eh okay nyinyi huwa na hiyo shida ya kuamka unajifunua unasema wacha nijifunue ili niamke kabisa alafu unafuga macho kidogo ukihutuka dakika fote zimeisha na umejifunua blanket atili wa muke okay hamnaka hiyo shida mnanichekelea sawa sawa have you ever experienced the same problem have you ever woken up and told yourself now it is time for prayer and you knelt down and you slept you have already woken up and you have decided i am praying praise the name of the lord <laughs> tuache mastore maana najua hapa tukipeana nafasi ya dakika ya kuelezana vile ulienda kuomba ukarara hapa hatuwezi kosa watu wawili watatu ambao hata leo walilala na umeamua maombi bwana asifiwe sana hata wengine ukasimama atawacha nishike network unajisikia ni kuaguka unaguka unarudi ndomo You understand what I'm talking about? Prayer is difficult. But I want to say this when you decide to pray differently, there will be different results. Praise the name of the Lord. The church decided to pray and pray with a difference. Hannah decided to pray and pray with a difference. Hallelujah. Isaac decided, my wife will not be barren forever. I will not stay in the same period like my father. I will not live until my father you know the, the, the age of my father that is when I'm getting my firstborn no I'll get my firstborn before and at least Isaac got the firstborn at age 60 and like Abraham who got a firstborn at age 100 there was a difference of 40 years unaweza kata misururu ya mambo ya kweli vile watu wengine wame struggle miaka mingi kufikia wewe ustrago kidogo haleluya vile wengine waliuawa na magonjwa hata kama utakufa uishi maisha ukufe at 72 uvuje record ya kwenu sio kukufa at 27 33 na kufa tu watu wanaulizana gai na vile alikuwa mdogo lakini Mungu ni yeye anachaguaga ile mzuri na muache kusema ni Mungu anachagua Mungu achagui watu tena anachagua ile mzuri sasa Mungu anaua mama ambaye anajifugua katoto anaua yeye katoto kanyonyeshwe na nani na ngombe wewe wacheni mchezo Mungu hauwi watu hivyo kuna mambo ambayo ni ya kishetani ni kuyakata tutayakata ni kujifungua tutajifungua ili tuweze kwenda mbele praise the name of the lord so listen to me another person ambaye alioba differently is Esther hallelujah You remember Esther? Queen Esther? Praise the name of the Lord. If you look at Esther chapter 4 and verse number 13. Verse number 12, sorry. 
And they told Mordecai what Esther had said. You know, Esther has finally said, it is impossible for me to go and see the king. I cannot enter the, the king's quarter because I have not been invited. I must wait for the invitation. But uh, this is what Mordecai replied. And I like and I pray that I become a Mordecai to somebody today. And quicken you to prayer and make different prayers. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, then Mordecai told them to reply to Esther, do not think to yourself that the, in the king's palace you will escape any more than all of the other Jews. For if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place. But for you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai. Go gather all the Jews. Hallelujah. Eh? Who are found in Susa. And hold a fast on my behalf. And do not eat or drink for three days. Night and day. I and my young women will also fast as you do. Then I will go to the king. Though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Hallelujah. May God awaken your understanding in the scripture. Praise the name of the Lord. Here the Bible says, Mordecai was told by, by, by Esther, go and gather the Jews. Let us fast. Because whatever I intend to do is against the law. Praise the name of the Lord. Na leo nataka tuchukue dakika kama kumiza maombi katika hii nyumba. Tutaomba kinyume na sheria zile zimewekwa katika maisha yetu. Unajua kuna watu tunaishi katika nyumba ziko na sheria. Sheria ambazo watu kuweko zikitungwa. Because Esther has said me, when we sat down with the king, we agreed I should not see him until I invite. No. This is according to the, to the laws of the Medes and the Persians. Praise the name of the Lord. But she says, pray for me. And I also fast for three days. After the fasting of the three days, I will go even though it is against the law. I want to say this. If you want to break protocols, pray differently. Hallelujah. If you want to break protocols, pray differently. Protocols ni sheria zile zinawekwa. Zinazo govern vile mambo hufanyo. Protocols ni wakati mipaka imewekwa. Mutufurani hapiti hapa, anapita pare. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. When you pray differently, you can break protocols. Hallelujah. You can overcome the protocols. Hata kama kwenu hakuna protocol ya utajiri. There is only a protocol of poverty. If you pray differently, you can go over the protocol and live with a difference. Somebody say I will be different. Somebody say I will be different. But my brethren, have you understood the secret? The secret is doing things differently. Praying with a difference. Hallelujah. Unataka kuna mutu kwenu mufungwa. Pray differently. Wacha kuomba hitu maobi buwana. Hata kama uetu unamujua vizuri. Na niluambia the other day. Hata ukirefusha vizuri. It doesn't make the difference. Ni vizuri. Unamujua vizuri. Na mungu haku wa mekata. Praise the name of the Lord. Anajua siki kama uniwake tu. Si hiyo brada yako ni mungu walifanya azariwe. Na si mungu wanamujua hata kabri ya misigi ya dunia kuwekwa. But if you cannot pray differently, you cannot see a difference. Things will run the same way they have been running. As usual, they will continue the way they have been continuing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is when you decide, it is when you make a, di a, a, a difference. When you say that I will pray differently, that you can overcome the protocols established. Protocols hile zinakatano na pesa. All but differently. Zitavujika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kukataa muna kataa kuomba differently ama ni kuerewa hayereweke. Najwa kuna vitu zinapig, zinapigwa tu hata ya unasikia inapigwa. Mana kuna roo zinajaribu kukuabia. Sasa weu diyo utaoba differently. Wewe. Lakini natamani atufanye tuone umuhimu wa kuomba na utafauti. Umuhimu wa kuangalia mambo na kusema these things are not common. Si nomo mwanamuke ni muoe tukae miaka 20 na hana mtoto. It is not normal. Praise the name of the Lord. 
It is not normal to kae na nyumba katika nyumba ndugu yangu ana matatizo. Mimi nina matatizo. Dada yetu anasubuka. Si normal to kae hivyo maana kuna nyumba, nyumba ya furani na ni neighbor ina watu wamebarikiwa. Wanakujaga na magari wanapaki mpaka wanaomba waigize hapo kwetu. Na kwetu hakuna hata kabaisikeli kanaweza igia. It is not normal. Wana Yesu asifiwe. How many know abnormal with their family, with their lives? Do you know something abnormal within your family? Something abnormal with your with your people? Praise the name of the Lord. Kwani watoto wa wengine wanakuranga nini ndio wako werevu? Na usidanganywe ati mtu anga akikura samaki anakuwa mwerevu. Hamia Lake Victoria basi. Hapana kaa huko Roiro utasubuka. Mpaka unajua wengine mpaka vituko tumefanya. Na na unaweza kuwa mchawi mambo leo. Muganga ambaye ameokoka ati mtu si, watoto wakikula kichwa ya samaki wanakuwa wazuri sasa ume, umewekesha vichwa ya samaki hata leo ume, umeandika ka SMS ukikuja kanisa ate na ukubuke vichwa <laughs> sasa unakuta watoto wamenganganishwa kukula kichwa na mavitu zingine za brax na kuanga huko mpaka <laughs> watoto wako wakikata wakiwa nomo unaona wanaangalia fani because ya kukula kichwa waki, wakingangana na hiyo Muganga mambo leo salimia jirani kwa ubali mwambie tafadhali usikuwe muganga usifanywe muganga na hii ni ujinga iko kwenu enda uiombe tofauti itakuondokea ah bwana asifiwe kwani kwenu ni nini ilikuwa ati kwamba hakuna mtu anaweza pita college anaweza enda asome na afikie kitu labda watu watu wenu wote jua kali fudi wa bao fudi wa guo mtu wa mutura yani wenu hata mkikutana amujui kuelezana ndio unaangalia watu wengine ma profile facebook iko na uoko mingi ulisomea wapi university of nairobi na na saa hiyo hata kuenda nairobi university kufika hapo hujai fika river road kusoma kufika wengine hata ukiulizwa inakuaga wapi unasema inakuaga hivi unaona ukienda hivi Your brother naye ameandika alisomea wapi Massachusetts Institute of Technology hiyo iko US na naandika hapo anaishi Colorado <laughs> Alafu unaona amejipiga picha hapo <laughs> Kawagoare sasa <laughs> lakini anaishi wapi Colorado <laughs> Sasa una unaangalia jamaa unashindwa hawa watu ni nini inawasugua Kuna nyumba ziko na protocols Protocols ambazo zinasema huku hakuna tajiri, huku hakuna kuolewa, huku hakuna kuoa, huku hakuna mtu soba ni walevi. Na watu wengine si ulevi wa pombe. Unajua kuna watu ambao wanalewa na mashetani. Hata ukiwaangalia hivi unaona hata mtu ukimueleza mambo unaona anafuga jicho moja. Na nikumwambia unamwambia kitu. Anakupima na jicho. Sasa mpaka unashidwa maneno hupimwa na jicho. Yaani mnajiangalia hivi mnajihurumia lakini unaendelea tu na maovu ya kawaida na wengine mnatiana nguvu hata ukienda unawasomea saburi 23 bwana asifiwe bwana ni mshugaji wangu haleluya ananiadalia mesa bere ya adui msiogope wapedwa hata kama tuko katikati ya maadui bwana ametuadalia mesa hata kama tunakula terere bwana ni mwema haleluya ni yetu tikule na terere nawe matuko mothe kuna siku inapaswa ifike tuachane na terere tukule kitu kingine Amen. Lakini kama wewe unatosheka tu ate una unachemusha nini? Unachemusha Tuwazana na hiyo maneno. Lakini ninataka kukufanya usikie vibaya kidogo ili uombe differently. There is no way you continue you, you can continue observing the same protocols like your father. The same protocols like your mother. Praise the name of the Lord. The same issues that happen to other people in your family are the same that you expect to experience. Vunja the protocols in the name of Jesus Christ. And you can only break the protocols when you do things different. You pray different. Hallelujah. Ana aliomba tofauti. Esther aliomba tofauti. Akasema sita haitakuwa hivyo. Haitakuwa hivyo. 
sita kwenda tu atiniende kibahati a a fungeni na tuombe na mimi nitafunga na kuomba watu wangu watafunga yani you can imagine the queen ali command mpaka wafanyikazi waliambiwa if you are working for me today tomorrow and the next day there is no food praise the name of the lord there is no food you will not eat na ndio ninaambia wazazi wacha kuhurumia watu hii mamitu mamvimutu unaona hapa vimutu kubwa iko na meno 20 alafu unaiambia ati tu ikule wewe ukifuga fukisha kwa guvu fanya kinineve praise the name of the lord that's another scripture that you should note let them fast the bible says even the infants fasted hata ngombe azikwenda marishoni na mbuzi za, wa, za watu wa nineve na Mungu akahurumia watu na ngombe. Bwana asiwe sana. Sasa wewe kwako ni majamaa wanakula, unaona kimutu kiko na miaka 12, 14, 17, kimutu tu ni kukula hapo. Ukisema tunafunga unasikia kinasema ah mi mi siski. Atukuulizi kama unasikia utafunga by force. Kwanza wengine naomba muwekewe kafiu kesho hakuna chakula inapikwa. Maana wengine hapa ni kama mayai ukivuguzwa unavujika. Vujika tutakula hata vujika hukuliwa. Eneke mwana adoro ogwo. Watu wafundishwe kufunga. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. We have tried in our family we do it. And not now we started a wrong time ago. That's how we started it. Wengine walikuwa wanasema wako na homa. Wanasikia wanawashi wako. Sasa siku hizi haiwashi. <laughs> Unaona mtu mmeshinda amekasirika throughout lakini siku hizi hakuna kukasirika throughout. Mtu alishika jia. Lakini wewe hurumia tu. Oh, you know it's in Siana. Najua hawa ni watoto. Mtu akisha kuta miaka tatu kufuga inawezekana. Fukisha by force. Wewe well, niangalie tu. <laughs> niangalie tu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na wengine unajua shida ni hii. Watoto hawajai ona hukuri. Wanaonanga tu kikula throughout. Sasa unawaambia wafuge. Wanashidi wa kufuga ni nini? Amen. Unajua watu wengine tuliwaamsha hivyo unaenda mkutano wanaona umekaa siku ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu haufu haukuli kitu unawaambia tu amor right mwingine akaniuliza pastor si utaaguka pale bere nikamwambia nikiaguka mtaniokota na siku akuka akaona nimehubiri masaa magapi mawili akajua nguvu haitoki huko kuna nguvu ya juu sasa nikilipoenda mara nyingine nikamwambia sikuli hakuniuliza maswali alisema he wewe nimekuogopa maana tumekaa na yeye mikutano mbili tatu anaona sikuli lakini tunaendelea mkutano una kama kawaida no different praise the name of the lord hata kachai sitaki wacha nikae but here we are with the guys ambao we unakula kawaida Unakula mpaka unafugua shati unajipepetea. Na, 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 na metuwemwe. Please, kuna vitu ni aibu kufanya. Unakula mpaka unajipepetea. You need a fan. <laughs> Jamani. Ukirara usiku hata kunyeshe ile ina, inabeba watu. Haujui kulinyesha. Hata urare kwa nyumba ya mabati kama hii brain haina ceiling. Unakuta mtu umerara ni kama umekufa. Unangorotea mama mpaka anakugoga gumi na uwezi amuka. Ni uliorali ile huai. Na wengine unajua mambo mengine wacha tu tuseme kwa sababu inahitaji tu isemwe. Unalala kuharibu hewa kwa nyumba. Because ya kukura. Watu wale wako kwa nyumba wanashitwa tu huko dhamira ko. Tutahamia wapi? Maana ile vitu unafanya ni za, ni za, ni za wacha na hiyo maneno. Alafu unasema kutafungwa. Kutafungwa na nani? Si uanze. Esther hakusema Edeni mfuge. Alisema hata mimi na wafanyikazi wangu. We are fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. You go and read for yourself the scripture that I've already quoted eh? in the book of uh, Jonah chapter number 3. The Bible says and the king and his officials 
and all the people, even the animals, fasted. Praise the name of the Lord. Even the infants were not given to suck. Praise the name of the Lord. Kutonyonyesha mtoto. Siyata ni against the human rights. Kuna mtu walisema wacha wakukufa akufe. Lakini tusiagamie zote. Wacha yule anaangamia angamie. Kama kuna mtu kwa kutokunyonya atakufa. Wacha akufe. And I do believe it is not like, uh, unlikely that there are children who died in the name. Probably even after that, there are children who grew with some infirmities because they were not drinking for three days. Ebu niambia mama aliyejifugua ni neve maana mwezi niambia a city of a hundred thousand people. Hakuna mtu alijifugua siku hiyo. Can you imagine unajifugua unaambiwa huku hakuna kitu? Vumilia. Vumilia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini katika ile hali ya vumilia na nini? Biblia inasema ya kwamba and they obtained mercy from the Lord and God made a way for them. Praise the name of the Lord. So the issue is here. My brother, when did you pray and pray differently? When did you fast and fast with a difference? Praise the name of the Lord. Let me say this in the book of Acts. Another scripture in the book of Acts. Chapter number 10. Acts of the Apostles. Chapter number 10. The Bible says at Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion uh, of what was known as the Italian cohort. This was not even a believer. He was not even a Jew. He was an Italian. Praise the name of the Lord. Wana sifiwe. Nadio nitawambia kuna watu tu. Utabaki tu mahali uliko. Utaona watu wegine abao hawa deserve anything. Lakini wanapanda tu. Unaona mutu wabaye hafai kupewa. Lakini ya mepewa. Kwa sababu anafanya mambo differently. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you look at this scripture, the Bible says, A devout man who feared God with all his household gave arms generously to the people and prayed continually to God. Praise the name of the Lord. I am Italian. I did not even, probably I didn't meet Christ. But here I am. I want to see a difference. I want to see things move in a different way. And what did he do? He gave himself to giving and praying continually. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse number three. And in the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God come in and said to him, Cornelius, and he stared at him in terror and said, What is it, Lord? And he said to him, your prayers and your arms have ascended as a memorial before God. Kuomba kwako na kutoa kwako zimefika bere za buwana kama ukubusha. Wana suwe sana. So, ni vizuri ujue, sikuire utaomba na utafauti, utaona mambo, utafauti. Praise the name of the Lord. When you shall give yourself to prayer, but pray in a different way. You will come to a place of experiencing a difference. Praise the name of the Lord. Praying different. You don't just pray the way you have been praying. But you pray with a difference. You say, God, here I am. Kwetu kumefungana. Kuna milango ilifungana. Kuna mambo ambao haitendeki kwetu. Lakini nataka kuona tafauti. And you engage in prayer with a difference. Praise the name of the Lord. You don't just pray. You don't just say, God, you know my people, you know my family, there is nothing that is hidden from you. Uh, uh, uh. You come to God with a difference. You pray with a difference. Praise the name of the Lord. You become like Hannah, who comes and says, my husband, stay at home. Let me go and pray myself. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me go talk to God at the personal level. I will not wait for somebody to pray for me. Hallelujah. Kuana sifiwe. Kuna jamaa moja ambaye eh, alipo kaa na mungu, akatebea na mungu katika wokovu, ameitwa anafanya kazi ya huduma, amefika mahali ya kaona mambo, hakuna difference. Ya nakaa tu vile yalikuwa berele. Akafika mahali ya kasema mungu, kama we umeniita, jitokeze. Akaingia kwa nyumba, akabia mungu sikiza, niko hapa, and I'm not leaving this house until 
you prove that you are with me. And he prayed and fasted. He didn't even leave the house. He got into a room, prayed first day, second day, third day. He is not leaving. And I think on the, on the, after the third day, God spoke to him and said, I am with you. Get out. Go. And he said, God, I said, I will stay here until you prove you are there. So he stayed again. And I don't remember at which time the Lord came and said to him, go, I am with you. I've given you my promise. I am with you. And he said, God, I will leave. But if nothing unusual happens, I'm coming back here. Praise the name of the Lord. So he went out. And when he went out, the first person he met was a neighbor who had one, one leg. The other one was amputated above the knee. Praise the name of the Lord. So, and the first thing he spoke to this person, he has not even eaten, he has done nothing. He asked the man, why have you refused to get born again? And the guy said, I have never refused. So he told him, kneel down. Jamaa akifika chini alikuwa na miguu miwili mguu umemea na goti limepatikana sasa shida ni kutafuta kiatu ya mguu huu mwingine jina la bwana libarikiwe kwa barabara what brought the difference a different approach in prayer that is for you oh god you know me i know you my god you are god you are god you are good you are good good my god oh you are good hallelujah hey ya 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 look at your neighbor mwambie hiyo maombi utawacha leo eh eh mwambie hiyo maombi utupe usiache hata usiache hapa utupe kabisa make prayers with a different Praise the name of the Lord. As I finish, as we bid farewell to those at home, I want to say this. Even you who are watching us from your house, you can make a difference when you pray with a difference. The reason why you must pray differently. When things are worse than they were before, pray differently. When the opposition is greater than it was before, pray differently. When your enemy raises a new battle that you have never seen before, pray differently. When you are troubled, pray differently. When you need superior interventions, pray differently. Praise the name of the Lord. Kama kwenu hakujawahi patikana mtu akawa na gari, wewe unafikiri gari itakuja tu hivyo kawaida? Hapana, utaomba maombi different. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Utaitana differently. Utaongea na Mungu na utafauti. God, give me a car. My God, make a difference. Hallelujah. Na asubuhi ya leo nataka tuvunje protocols kwa maombi. Nataka ufanya maombi ile hujawahi omba. Na leo hata kama utasikika kuna mtu ataweza sikia vile unaomba ashtuke, wacha ashtuke lakini hata bingu nayo ishtuke. Simama kwa miguu yako. God bless you those watching us at home. If you want to participate in anything, you want to give your offering, you can do it through 0719727770. The Lord bless you. The Lord continue to be together with you. We continue with the word. We continue in prayer. Uh, wherever you are in your house, rise up together with us and engage in prayer. Can you begin to break the protocols? Can you make a different prayer? There is a prison ambayo inashikiria mtu kwenu. Omba ya kwamba jera lile livunjike. Wacha kuomba hapo ukipembereza. Ingia katika maombi. Fanya matendo ambayo yanaashiria. Kile ambacho unasema come on somebody even in the church let's get into prayer. Let's get into deeper prayer. Let us deal with the protocols. Let us deal with the 